hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Jerry's Fishing uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to look at a product that uh, we've been out of stock of really, the whole country's been out of stock of, a replacement from the Maruku I Saw Me Worm that I'm sure a lot of you out there are really, really familiar with. It hasn't been, you haven't been able to buy it in the UK now for maybe three or four years through different wholesale issues. And, you know, it's, it's, it's left a gap for very specific sort of lightweight LRS style fishing uh, and fly fishing on lures. Um, there's been nothing that's been as good. So what's been really nice to hear is Berkeley Gulp have actually got their act together and they've sort of reinvented the gulp um, worms. So this has been out for maybe 15, 20 years, a gulp in different guises. Uh, but one of the items they've added um, to the, the latest offering is this new sandworm. So, I've got a few here that are out of the packet. Let you have a look at it. So, this is one of the colours. They call it a sandworm, but essentially it is just a ragworm. Um, but, you know, that's what you get with American companies. They'll, they'll make things great, but they'll call it what they want to call it. And then obviously in a white one that looks really cool as well. It's got white rag, I think it works a treat. So this product has, it's basically, it's coated in this um, this sort of liquid that sits in the packs. They're all vac they're all sort of sealable, so you can get one out and use it without it drying out quickly, as long as you, as long as you seal the packets up. Um, but it's it's got this um, amino acid boosting um, scent liquid into it that really, with the isomies, I was a bit sceptical at first of using it, um, but it caught fish. And they followed a very similar protocol. I'm sure it's not exactly the same, but it's a similar idea with, with the liquid. And it smells exactly the same. Get it on your fingers, it's going to stay on your fingers all day until you properly wash them when you get home. But it catches fish. So with the with these with these sandworms or ragworms, whichever you want to call it, uh, come in two colours: the natural and the white. Um, I can't wait to get out with this. Um, but you know, we always get how do you how do you rig them up? What's what the best to use? So a lot of my fishing locally, we go for place and flounder, or we get some some nice little low water marks where we can get out with a really light sort of LRF style rod rated, maybe up to 10, 15 grams. And just over sort of slack water, you can flick these lures about, and the, the flounders in the place go wild for them. Um, and the two best ways I've, I've personally had to rig them up, uh, you always want to keep them as light as possible, but you can rig them up just with a basic little jig heads, um, and you can just bounce them along. It all depends on where you are fishing, how many snags there are. Most of the stuff we do is on clean ground, so it's quite easy to fish. Um, the other way, which is my sort of preferred method, is sticking them on a sort of worm style weedless hook like this. Um, fishing it completely loose, so no weight on this bit. I'm just fishing like a Carolina rig, so maybe maybe 30 centimetres of, of, of a light sort of fluorocarbon. I prefer you can just use a normal mono if you wanted to. Swivel and then just, just, just a small weight, just an inline weight of maybe 10, 15 grams max. So you can flick it out, there's always a bit of resistance with wind when, you be, when you're on the, on the beach. And with a retrieve, I always call it painfully slow retrieve with these. With the, with the flies, I, whenever I've done a fast retrieve, I never have much luck. But when you're really slowly just twitching it along the floor and letting it, you know, come up, settle, stop, and then it's like a third of a turn, maybe half a turn, flick it again. So you, you retrieve of, 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 of over 20, 30 yards, it's going to take you a few minutes to get back in. But it's absolutely devastating. Um, the other thing with the weedless look, if there's any, if there's obviously any any debris in the water while you're flicking it about, because obviously you're really close to the bottom, you tend not to hook as much of it. So obviously when you're bringing it in, there's not a big clump of weed on there that stops the fish from wanting to eat it. So I'm really excited to get out with these um, in the coming weeks. Now the fish, the weather's been a bit poor for fishing, but you know, we're in February now, March is only around the corner. Normally we get a bit of a more heat, and obviously the fish start coming in. Uh, in more numbers so yeah I'd have a look at these um, online if you look at it you know look at that there it almost looks real the price wise on these you're talking you know they're every packs below a tenner so there's a few different sizes and stuff you can get with this gulp range I'd really recommend having a go with them um, let us know how you get on um, if you want to buy them they're online at jerryfishing.com uh, just go in just type just search for gulp and uh, you'll definitely see them 
in the range as well, they have brought another product out that I wanted to just show you at the end, is they have brought these little peeler crab out as well, which look really interesting. I've never used them, um, but I can't wait to get out later in the year. Let's grab one out of the packet. They're covered in the same sort of um, amino acid attractant that's meant to, it's supposedly something to do with making a fish want to eat a bit more, um, but they look absolutely brilliant. So if you use them as a lure, you can use them as a, an artificial bait. You know, there's a lot, it's hard work these days to get fresh bait, especially if you want to go last minute. It's a really good idea to keep a packet of these and maybe even a packet of them on the shelf in the garage. They won't go off, just keep them sealed. You'll have them for ages. Um, any other questions, please give us a shout. Um, obviously on the YouTube, in the, in the comments, contact us on social media, on the website, or just pop in your stuff. Cheers.